China is so far ahead in the IoT world. I mean, it's like three or four times more more productive in terms of high tech exports than its nearest competitor, which is Germany. The U.S. is kind of third or fourth. Um, it's so far ahead for the same reason that the U.S. was so far ahead in the PC world. The U.S. was so far ahead in the world of the PC and the internet because of uh, intelligent government infrastructure investment decades earlier. Mm -hmm. So it was really the space program. Uh, and some defense investment in the 1960s and 1970s that led to the technical developments that resulted in the development of the personal computer, the microprocessor, and the internet in the 80s and 90s. Um, but what happened in the 80s and 90s was the US government stopped investing in high tech in any meaningful way at about the same time that other economies, particularly Germany, Korea, and China, started investing. So, you know, when you have a, the Chinese premier, for example, talking about the Internet of Things in public, that's a pretty clear sign that his government is aware of what's going on in technology and is planning and investing in the future of technology. So what we'll see over the next few decades is really the decline of U.S. influence in high tech as a result of, you know, continued failure to invest. There's a notion in the U.S. now that, that the role of government is to regulate or not regulate. Those are the only choices. The idea of investing in something like the space program, for example, seems to have you know, fallen by the wayside. It's not fashionable. Other, other economies are willing to invest in, in big, ambitious projects and kind of get technology started. So you know, we'll see things happen in China. There may be other economies that learn this lesson. It may be that the climate changes in the US and there's, there's more ambition. Um, we'll just have to see. But really, the, the nations that lead are going to be the nations that spend. Ecuador is behind the US in high tech and will be for a long time, sure. not to pick on any particular country, right? right? There are lots of countries that aren't as successful. But I think the, the, the surprising thing for a lot of people is you have a lot of, particularly you know, like California-based commentators who just assume that because the US led the world in the 90s, the US leads the world, leads the world in 2015, and that's easy to disprove. That's not true, right? But no, there's, there's zero interest. Uh, in, in, in addressing these issues. There's a, a belief that private investment is all that you need. Uh, private investment is important, but private investment comes second. Right. You know, the, the hard R&D problems with a huge amount of risk associated with them and, and non-obvious markets, they always get sold, solved by government investment. Um, so I think the, you know, there's no political interest in the U.S. right now. I was was not expecting anybody to pick up the phone. Really, I I do get to talk to politicians uh, all around the world, and you know the U.S. atmosphere is uh, kind of should we regulate, should we not regulate, and uh, can you build a factory in my hometown because that would help me get reelected. That's you know that's kind of where that mindset is right now. Mm -hmm.